everyone this is Dawn and welcome back to my channel so this is the fourth video in my altered book um, series I guess we'll call it and it is time for paper selection I love going through my papers and picking out what I'm going to use um, for a project so I've already shared um, a few videos on preparing our altered book so this one is ready to go it is for uh, ready for decoration so in the last video um, I shared about what are our next steps so I still need to figure out what type of a closure that I'm going to do I've always done a ribbon um, closure anytime I've done an altered book or a junk journal um, and then I was actually thinking about doing like a hitch post um, so I've looked that up um, and I would actually need to get um, some of those hitch post um, mm, fasteners I guess you'll call it um, from Tim Holtz so I do need to get some of those because I don't have any I've never used one before I actually had to look it up to see how they exactly work but you punch a hole I do have a good um, crocodile here um, you punch a hole and it's got the little post that sticks out and then you kind of screw in the back of it and you can use an eyelet or different things on the back so still I am um, uh, working to figure that out I am going to use um, this paper um, from the Pinkaboo Michaels line I'm pretty certain on the cover um, so I will actually need to um, pull another sheet and uh, cut that because I originally was going to use this um, inside of my book but I actually I'm not sure if I might come back in and use it on the front and on the insides I'm not sure yet and uh, excuse me I might use um, this on the cover this is from the bewitched authentique line so I'm still kind of thinking about where I want to go um, as you can see, I've got the papers lay, uh, laid out here. I believe my book is 32 pages. So Peekaboo is the um, main part, um, the main collection I am using. So as you can see here, um, I went ahead and cut all my papers down to fit my book. And then, um, fixing this a little bit, there was a little glare on the bottom. Um, I went ahead and laid out the papers so I can see all of them and I believe there are 32 pages here um, stops at this black and white um, so that I can lay them out and make sure that I like the order of how I see them yes I'm a little uh, particular specific when it comes to this kind of thing so I don't want to see you know bats together or stripes together or something like that so I feel like I've moved things around enough where um, I feel like um, this is going to give me a good palette. Also, too, this is more of a pastel Halloween um, shades. Um, so there are uh, lots of pinks and purples. I was thrown off a little bit by this blue, but I've decided to go ahead and use it. Um, I have added a touch of orange. I was actually going to go back and um, do something like... Um, this orange and then um, since this had metallic in it I also pulled this metallic shade but I really did not like them um, but I did want to use some orange because I don't know that I'll have enough um, embellishments and things to decorate my whole entire journal if I did not bring in a little bit of orange and then of course I've got a lot of black and white here to even out all of the pinks purples and blue um, so and I think just this touch of orange will actually help and then this here being on the cover as well of course it's got some orange um, in there as well so um, I just wanted to come on and um, share this next step um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my book and then I'm gonna go ahead and place these papers um, in where I want them and then once I start decorating, which will mean I'm going to be inking up all of my edges and um, kind of decorating, I think I'm just going to do, you know, a few pages um, at a time. So let us get on in to find our page one. And then you can see how this book is going to lay out. 
I actually wasn't sure I wanted to use the spiders. I'm not a huge fan of the spiders, but um, I think um, I like the color palette and I like it enough to keep it. And it can also be covered by, you know, a pocket or who knows. I love these little ghosties. Um, I like this black and white stripe. And then also too, just to note, just about half of these papers almost, um, really are not necessarily um, a Halloween theme like that black stripe. I have a lot of different uh, polka dots. This here, even though this one came from the, the Hallow or the Pinkaboo, the Halloween paper, this actually just has, you know, like a star pattern on it. This one is a polka dot. So if you don't have a great big collection of Halloween um, papers, look at um, your regular papers and kind of um, pull things together that um, are maybe in those colors. Look at your greens, your yellows, your blacks and whites, of course, purples, um, oranges, and um, yeah, take a look at your stash and um, see what you can utilize from there and then you can use embellishments from the Dollar Tree or wherever. Um, this here is the center of my book. This is pages 15 and 16. And I was really, this is a double-sided paper. I was loving this white spider web with the little orange dots on it, little speckles. But I decided when I cut this out that I really liked how um, the spider web um, came together. And so I'm gonna use this as the center of my book. So I really like how that looks. Also too, here in the center of my book, um, I might need to cut my pages down a little bit. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of room here, so I'll probably be taking off at least a quarter of an inch, and I'll, as I'm decorating each page, I will kind of have to gauge that, just because you need to leave some space, um, enough room for your pages to turn nicely. So adding the scrapbook paper in, um, it I don't have enough room, um, so it's going to catch. So. Um, I'll have to gauge that on a few of these places in the book, but that's okay. We're going to take that on a case-by-case -case basis, um, and that's probably going to happen more in the middle of the book. And so far, I am liking how this is all going together. I think it's a nice palette. And then on these pages even, I mean, this is a great place to go ahead and add some um, oranges because I know it's going to end up in here and that was kind of a dilemma I had well if I stuck with the whole pastel theme I wasn't sure um, that I would like I said would have enough decorations um, without going into the traditional oranges <laughs> and that kind of thing I really like how this pink and purple looks together um, and then I also try not to um, do the same type of papers together but I think in this case I liked these two together and I did actually repeat them I do believe and that's okay I try not to do that too much because I don't know I get bored with things and do I like this spider and ghost together I guess I do and then this is going to be the ghost and the blue stripe and then I think what I'm going to do, and then I've got this little skull. Oh, okay. I thought I had 32 pages. 30, 31. I think, let's see, I'm going to end. I think I'm going to do a quick switch around then since I have one more sheet. You know, I had prepared another book, and um, I think that's the one that had 32 pages. I think I'm going to come back in and put this black and white polka dot next to the spider. Yeah, I like that a little better because the other two just seemed a little too busy um, next to each other um, for my liking. And if you're seeing these other pages, that's because some of these pages are double-sided. So I think um, we now have got our paper figured out. So we are definitely coming along. So my next steps are to... Um, still figure out my cover and closure and probably I will decorate the front of this one of the last things I do and then I'll need to figure out what I want to decorate inside of here um, if you do um, want to cover a book all in paper or in fabric um, there are other videos that can show you that for me I'm just going to decorate like a section of it but that's an option for you as well all right, so that is it for um, this next video. As you can see, adding that paper in 
we're already getting a little chunkier, but uh, I'm definitely excited about this process. I um, have had wonderful feedback and I'm so glad um, that I went ahead and did this. As some folks have um, said, yes, thank you, that um, it is easy to understand because this can be quite confusing. And uh, I always kind of felt, even though there's lots of videos out there, I struggled um, making an altered book myself. So um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time.